Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome uh, back to the same page. First, I want to thank you for a great week of sales. We are really headed toward that admission we talked about of being positive comp every week, every month, and every quarter. We just got to keep fighting and work through all the weather issues we have, all the competitive issues, but at the end of the day, what you're doing is working, so thank you for your outstanding execution. You know, we talk a lot on the show about customer service, the importance of service, and we're starting to get a lot of great letters and emails in from customers telling us about how pleased they are with the customer service at the Home Depot. And we're going to show you the Legends winner this week, and the Legends winner is based on a customer letter we received for outstanding service, so let's go right to the Legends winner. We have two legends one of this week from store 981 in Colonial, New Jersey. Uh, so this is one of those great stories that when you read it or hear it, it makes you very proud to work at the Home Depot. So the two associates, the first one is Jai Ramatar, Jai is the store manager, and the second associate is Dan Square, Dan's a cashier. So let me tell you what these two guys did. So as you've heard, we've had a lot of rainy and wet weather in the Northeast uh, this year. And just a week or so ago, I received this letter from a customer giving me uh, the details of a story that happened to them that they wanted to make me aware of. Uh, in short, the, the customer had enormous flooding in their basement, and they decided to come to the Home Depot to get help. And so Jai came in one day after the fire department had forced the store closed because of flooding fear, and he was waiting for the store to open. It was about 7.30 in the morning. He noticed his customer out on the sidewalk just looking worn down and actually in tears. So he invited them in and wanted to know what project they needed help on. So the customer explained that uh, he and his teenage daughter and wife had spent the last 18 hours in their basement just taking water with buckets up one flight of steps trying to get the water from their basement from overcoming and taking over the whole house because their sump pump had been clogged and without power it wasn't working. So he wanted to get a generator. So Jod told him let me help you find one, and they found one. He told the customer, take a seat, got him a bottle of water, got him a chair at the pro desk so him to sit down. He personally took the generator into the tool room and assembled the generator. So the customer told him that he would pay for delivery. So Jai told him no need for that. He grabbed Dan, who rang up a transaction. They loaded the generator in a loading room, and they told the customer, we'll follow you home. They followed the customer home, and they started to carry this generator through this rain-soaked lawn, and to make matters worse, it started to rain and hail while they were walking around the house. So just imagine these guys carrying a generator, rain soaked long with hail pelting down on them. They went behind the house through the basement and noticed that the extension cord the customer had was very frayed. And so Jack called the store and had the store to bring over four new extension cords to make sure they could get this thing hooked up properly. He also realized that the sump pump was clogged, so he rolled up his sleeves, went in, unclogged it. They got the generator set up, got the power going and they got the water starting to drain all of a sudden. So they went back to the store, you know, just having done what they feel was expected from a great Home Depot associate. The next day, the customer shows up literally in tears, and he's telling them how they basically helped them to save their house because he had been up for 30 straight hours the day before he came to the store because everything was closed. They couldn't get any generators anywhere. He said he went around his entire neighborhood telling everybody about the story of how the Home Depot store manager and team had rescued him, and he said he dared any neighbor to ever shop anywhere else but the Home Depot. He said he was truly a customer for life and would make sure that every person he knew was a customer for life. So again, that's a story that's truly legendary status. It's a story that makes us all feel proud to work for the Home Depot, but it's another example, team, when we talk about being the number one customer service retailer in the world, this is how you get there. You get there to doing these exceptional things that a typical retailer would not do. So for these guys, legendary service, we're going to give both of them, you know, an executive home badge worth $50 and a $200 award. We're going to give the store $1,000, and we rarely recognize a store manager, but in this case, I feel like that Jai deserves himself to be recognized because not only did he lead by example, but he took the initiative to really take care of the customer. So guys, great job. We really appreciate it. So let me walk over, and as I walk, I want to show you this great apron that I received uh, this week. I was... Uh, in Detroit, actually last week, walking with Chris.